A few months ago, we introduced you to Lucky the Snowman and the Florida students whose hearts he melted. CBS's Steve Hartman goes on the road for the final chapter of this very special snowman story. It all started here at South Shore Charter Academy outside Tampa when teacher Robin Hughes opened a book about snow it's cold. and got a frosty reception. They just had this perplexed look on their face. Then that's when I asked the question, how many of you all have never seen snow before? As we first reported a few months ago, a lot of you. hands shot up. Yeah, never seen snow. I saw it on a TV show. Like, ice age, it has snow. I'm like, what is snow, people? Clearly, Robin had tapped into a desperate yearning right, that she wanted go. to satisfy. Good. Unfortunately, it hasn't snowed in Central Florida in 45 years. Still, Robin wasn't about to let a little thing like meteorology get in her way. So she reached out to her sister in Kentucky and went full out frozen. She asked me if I want to build a snowman. Amber Estes begrudgingly agreed to ship her sister this snowman. And I said, if he makes it to Tampa, his name is going to be Lucky. He made it. <laughs> Meet Lucky. He made it. I was so excited when I opened the box. I mean, I could not wait to go in the classroom with him. So, all winter long, Lucky ventured out of the cafeteria freezer ever so briefly Lucky. to grant these poor, snow deprived children a chance to see and feel the mini miracle that is a snowman. It's real snow! And as a teacher, that's what you want. You just want that joy. The first time I met Lucky, I said he's handsome like a boy. Yes. Perhaps no one was more smitten than five-year-old Momo. I love him. I knew I would kiss him. I knew it. Is that the first boy you wanted to kiss? Yes. And the second boy I'm going to kiss. You don't have dad. to. You, okay, good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it has been two months since we first told this story. And all these warm greetings have finally taken their toll. There we go. Look at that. On Earth Day, the kids reintroduce Lucky back into the water cycle. So maybe you can guys see him another day. And although goodbyes are always hard, I miss Lucky. the nice thing about life on Earth, Lucky's gonna forever live in our hearts, is that for every farewell, there's a hello. It's nice to meet you, Lucky oh. the Tree. Lucky the Tree. <laughs> Steve Hartman, CBS News. On the road with Momo. <laughs>